Dead Man Mode is out, the seasonal game mode focused around PvP. I've never done PvP before or played Dead Man Mode, but there's a first time for everything, right? I'll be honest, I had zero plans to play this, but some people thought it might be fun, so here we are with little to no plan. I have no clue what I'm going to be doing. Do I want to try PKing people? Do I want to go for Dead Man Mode points? Or do I want to just skill, but on a PvP game mode? That doesn't really make sense. The first 60 minutes of the game mode is 100% safe from PKers, so the start is essential. I thought about which quest I wanted to do while protected, and I decided not to do Witch's House because only one person can enter the house at a time, and I didn't want to be trolled by other people. So my plan is this. I want to rush Waterfall quests, but I can't tank the Moss Giant because I'm 10 HP and its max hit is 11. So what if we did another combat XP quest, Fight Arena, first, and then we got the HP XP from the fights, which will then protect us from being one hit by the Moss Giant. I think it's safe to say that I'm definitely an actual genius. Wait, what the fuck? Why am I not getting any XP? I literally planned this just so I can get the hit points XP while doing the quest and I'm not getting any experience. Do you just not gain XP while killing any quest bosses? Turns out you do, although the fight arena is an instance where nobody else can attack you, so not only did I not gain any hit points XP, but I also wasted 13 minutes of my timer doing something that I could have not been killed during anyway. Things are looking great at this start. At least the quest is done, and this brought us to... Holy shit, 51 attack. I forgot to mention, but the skilling and quest rewards are all 10 times XP. This may have ruined my plan, but after doing some thinking, I think we're okay. We can do waterfall quest and maybe just mage some random monsters along the way for hit points XP. Hopefully by the time we get to the moss giant, which is at the end of the quest, we'll be high enough hit points to not get one shot. Alright, here we go. I banked all of my shit, got my runes, and since we're 13 HP now, as long as we stay on top of eating our tuna, we should be fine. The moment of truth. We are not allowed to bring our runes in here, so we have to drop them and come back before they despawn. In and out, 20 seconds. Shouldn't be a problem. Let's go. What? What was that? Dude, I swear the two times I've ever done this quest, I thought their max hit was 11 the entire time. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? I'm actually just so lost at this point. I'm just AFKing woodcutting just as something to do, and I did have an alt woodcutting logs on the side as well, so maybe I'm gonna train some fletching so we can do something fun. I do need 47 fletching to 3 tick, so the question just is now, how long does that take? Dude, look at these insane XP drops, I'm already level 27. I was shocked to see this, but nobody bought out the arrowheads at Gnome Stronghold, so I'm able to just bank a shit ton of fletching XP just from these arrowheads. This should be more than enough. Just going through the rest of it, and we're already level 50. Alright then. Maybe this 10 times XP is more fun than I would have thought. Now we just need a teak log, which requires 35 wood cutting. My protection is out, but let's be real, who the hell is going to be PKing at oak trees, man? Literally no one. Yeah, never mind. Bored again? Let's maybe try to finish Waterfall Quest? Yo, let's go! We did it without getting PK'd. 53 strength and 59 attack. Alright, I just don't know what to do at this point. Still didn't really have a plan, not sure if it's too late to keep rushing combats or what. While we figure out what we want to do and talk to the Twitch chat, we're just going to AFK some rats and Lumbridge for some low level range. Level 10 range, we're flying. Yo, what the hell? Did you guys see that? This guy took my kill. He took my kill on a game mode that is PvP anywhere. I have to do what I'm supposed to do. It's time to PK.
I was so close to killing him, and then he ran to the safe spot. Wormridge Castle has level 1337 guards protecting people. There's a few common places around the game that are like this, just so people have somewhere to go that they are 100% safe. Wow dude, of course. Look at this coward. He is maging me even though I have no gear. It's pathetic, man. Little does he know, there's a safe spot literally 5 tiles away from me. Oh my god, that guard literally just teleported from underground. Okay, yeah, don't walk in here, Scold. Alright, this time I have a teak log, a knife, and a bronze pickaxe. I think for sure, we now want to go have fun. I'm going to try out the Remington mine since it's close by, and we're going to see what we can do. Oh my god, finally. Fun. Look how fast we're leveling up. And I don't even need run energy, I just walk between these two rocks with a knife and a log and go vroom vroom. Alright, I'm trying out iron ores now, and I think I know what I want to do now. Screw PKing, screw everything. We are going to go for 99 mining to start, and then maybe max if it's not too annoying. Deadman mode is only out for 3 weeks, so we have some gaming to do. I filled my inventory up with water skins and made my way to the best place in the game, Granite. So now, we have 10 times XP rates, so we're obviously gonna fly. And I mean, I know I said it at Oaks, but come on, the desert? No PKers should be here. Look at this beautiful method. I have to walk to the first rock because I run out of run energy since I'm 1 agility. I'm pretty sure there's more 3rd age items in the game than people who have walked at Granite. Could you say this is rarer than 3rd age? If you think so, hit that like button. I'm already level 70 mining. I want to try something else now though. And by something else, I mean the same exact thing, but with sigil thingies. There are these little sigil buffs to everything in the game to make it slightly easier, and there's one that auto banks 90% of my items as I gather them. As you can imagine, that's definitely slightly better than an infernal pickaxe burning one third of my ores. I almost never have to drop with this relic active. This method just keeps on getting better. Level 75. I'm a little over level 81 now, and I don't know, I'm learning about more relics, and there's apparently one that auto gives smithing XP while mining, and it makes me feel like I'm being really inefficient and almost burning me out. Why would I want to continue mining if that can get me 99 smithing along the way? I have no idea what other skill I can train, so I'm going to try something just for fun. Right now, we're the only person above 80 mining. There's a relic that gives plus 5 in all stats, meaning I can be 86 mining with it, and the only person in the game who can mine Runite. That brings us to our next thing. Here we are, Runite. The only person in the game capable of mining it. You can have up to 3 sigils or relics at once, and these are the ones I'm using for Runite. We need the plus 5 boost to mine the Runite since we're not level 85, and then our other relic makes 90% of them go immediately to our bank, minimizing our banking. Then, just to make some extra money, we have another relic that gives us triple ores. As you could imagine, being the only runite miner in the game, we're going to be banking a lot per hour. Dudes, we found somebody. Someone else is actually in the mining guild. I'm debating if we should attack him or not. I don't like being mean, but at the same time, it's dead man mode, right? Yeah, screw it. Let's go kill him. Wait, what? This guy says he's a fan. I can't kill a fan, that's toxic. I think this one moment made me realize I fucked up by playing my GCW account. I should have went rogue in a random name. Someone in my Twitch chat might have realized something. What if this guy was just buttering me up? I have to find out if he's actually a fan or not. We're gonna go attack him and give him trivia. If he answers right, we'll off him. I'll give him an easy one. Why is 6 afraid of 7? Oh my god, he actually didn't know. He did unfortunately run away, and I can't go upstairs or the guards will kill me, but man, I could have asked him how many minutes it took me to max, or my mother's maiden name, but he really couldn't tell me why 6 was afraid of 7. That's just disappointment. At this point, I was getting kinda bored. 
I went on for about an hour and got 350 runite ores, which is pretty cool. But honestly, I'm burnt from dead man. I played for like 8 hours, and yeah, it just wasn't my thing. I called it a night after that, I went to go do other things IRL, and then had a nice sleep. I don't know what I dreamt about, cause I don't remember any dreams, but I thought I quit dead man the night before, but man, I woke up on day 2, motivated as hell. I did some random fly fishing for cooking and fishing levels. I got sick of being level 1 agility, so I did tortoise trap for level 1 to 49. I don't know, I kind of just did every quest I could think of that gave me good levels besides combat. I did Temple of the Eye for runecrafting. Tribal Totem, which I forgot to record, but then the feud for thieving. After the feud, I decided to blackjack until I got attacked. Just because why not? I mean, it's fast XP. As you can see, I'm getting 2.1 mil an hour. I did need something to AFK at some point for IRL, so I bought a bunch of steel bars from the GE and made dart tips while AFKing. Then when I was able to pay attention, I made plate bodies for XP. This got me pretty high smithing. I won't say I'm an Iron Man because I'm not, but man did I make these dart tips myself. And then I learned about another great sigil, the sigil of Infernal Chef. This auto cooks any fish we catch, so we can just 3 tick and we get cooking and fishing XP. I'm just going to do this for a few hours until PKers calm down a bit, cause it's currently midnight and there's no point going to bed when there's XP to be gained. Alrighty, so I waited until 3am and I realized, while everyone is asleep, it's probably the best time to go to some places that are PK hotspots. I am getting somewhat tired, so what better way to end the night than to blackjack as much as I can until I get attacked. I just got level 83, so let's see how far we can go. What the hell was that? I almost did 2 hours without being attacked. I'm just gonna stop at level 91 because I can probably do plunder for the remaining of my XP. I think it's fair to call it a night here. Plus, going to bed on our own terms means that we get to bank our 179k cash that we pickpocketed instead of dying with it. This might be a little cringe, but I have no clue how to train farming and we have to learn fast, especially if we're going to be maxing as quick as it's seeming. I've trained low level farming like this before, where I didn't want to quest, so what I did was I would farm potatoes and onions right before logging out, that way I'm already at the patch when I log back in, and it gets me level 15 for trees. I figured I could try this out on deadman mode before I hit the sack, and when I wake up tomorrow morning, hopefully we will be level 15. And good morning, it looks like we did indeed get level 15, farming should be saved now. I need to figure out what I want to do today. I know we're staying under level 50 combat, so let's just get as many levels as we can. Alright, I think I have an interesting strategy. It's still early, so now is definitely the best time to keep questing. I feel like crafting in this game mode is going to be absolute dog shit. Where the hell are people going to get gems from? I think we need to find the best way to get molten glass, since gems seems unrealistic. I thought, why not farm giant seaweed? I barely need that many since XP rates are times 10 anyway, and mining the sand will be no problem. So right now, I'm gonna work my way towards Fossil Island. I did the museum for my kudos, and it got me a juicy 1-27 to Hunter and Slayer. Perfectly easy. Next, some museum cleaning for some kudos, along with making dig site pendants. Pretty quick. I still needed a few more kudos, so I did some extra quests. Observatory got me my first crafting levels. Finally, I'm sailing away to the island. This is honestly so cool, I really hope one day they can make a skill like this. Our plan is finally coming together. Quest complete, let's go! Using my plus 5 boost for my sigil, I decided to plant some teak trees so that I can 1.5 tick here someday. Now, I think I'm just gonna go underwater and wait for some giant seaweed spores to spawn. Dude, what? I may not go underwater in a dead man world? What does that even mean? I understand instances because obviously you were hiding from PKers, but what the hell does being underwater have to do with anything? That was a 2 hour plan for nothing. At least I now have access to train low level hunter. I can do birdhouses every 50 minutes now. This is going to be our first day where we're able to spend the entire day skilling. I don't really feel like dealing with PKers, so let's just do a bunch of safe stuff. I'll start off with 99 fire making in the GE. 
All right, unfortunately, I'm too poor to do magic logs all the way to 99 in fire making. It cost me about 900 GP each, whereas use cost me 200. So I think I'm just going to run out here and then do use for the rest of the way. But man, will I be missing magics. 4.5 mil an hour, whereas with use, we only get about 3 mil. Here's level 90. Oh yeah, we got redwoods at this level. Don't even worry about those, I promise you guys, nobody is chopping them on deadman mode. They cost 2k each. And the first 99 out of 23 is complete. Fire making. While spending a few hours doing 99 fire making, I was using a flipping alt to make GP, and I was able to snag a bunch of irrit leaves for insanely cheap. 500 GP each. I made them into unfinished potions, and then I got right into training on GCW. Our herbore grind was ready. I don't know guys, it's herbore. This feels kind of slow for me. We're only getting 2.3 mil XP per hour. I think after level 85, we need to speed this up a little bit. I bought some energy potions, and guess what? 1-6 staminas are in the game. It's methods like these that make me really enjoy deadman mode. I don't think anyone would think of doing 1-6 staminas for more than 2 minutes on the normal game, because there's better options. But since there's a limited market, I'm allowed to do stuff like this, and I get 5 mil XP per hour. It makes it so fun. We're not even losing money on this. We're breaking even once we sell back the staminas. How great is that? Unfortunately, we only had enough to get to level 91 for now, but I did also buy some adamant and mithril bars, which again, you break even after you out the plate bodies. So I'm going to train some smithing before I go to bed. This is a really old method because everyone does blast furnace nowadays, but you can use an alt to run you bars, that way you don't have to waste time running to the bank. You just quickly trade and then start hammering again. Just a quick not safe for work warning, I am AFKing in this clip. There is a spot in Gnome Stronghold that you can fly fish, and it is 100% safe from PKers. I decided to use this as my safe spot whenever I need to AFK and make a video for you guys. I'm about to head to bed, so let's take a look at our day 3 stats. We're at 1300 total, and on the high scores, that puts us at rank 68. I can now, finally on day 3, confidently say that we will be going for the max keep before the season ends in 3 weeks, and hopefully get it even sooner. I want to be the first player with the max cape, so we're going to see exactly how that goes. If you enjoyed this Deadman episode and wish to see another, please don't forget to like the video and leave a comment down below. I will also be streaming here and there on Twitch from the description below, so be sure to check that out if you want to see more Deadman mode content. TY for all of you watching, and I will see you next time. Peace out.